happy in the house of the Lord with the saints. Amen. The people of God. Amen. Amen. Growing together. Amen. Living our lives together. Amen. Amen. Overcoming together. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Galatians chapter 5. And verse 1. Get better die. Let me get some amen. Let me get some amen. amen. We are married. We are married. Amen. You missed that one. That one. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm like, married, man. Second serve. I ain't used to this. She was out of town. I'm going to call her. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I thought that. That's why I love this song, man. Man, I need this one. That's my people. Amen. I talked to her earlier, though. Okay, amen, 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 amen. All right, ride, woman, go ride. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Stand fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stand fast. Make your mind up to stand in the freedom, the liberty, where well, Christ has made us free. Can I get an amen? amen. Uh, you know, we, you can be delivered and not free. You know that, right? Amen. Yeah. You can be delivered, you know, yes. and not free, you know. Mm -hmm. Deliverance is where God come in and, you know, providential, like he did the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. He assisted them to get, he, he delivered them out of Egypt. But when the, in the in the in the wilderness, that's where the freedom was supposed to take place. Amen. You know, but that's where they struggled at. They didn't want to be free. You know, so just because you deliver don't mean you free. That's right. Amen. Hello. Amen. That's the problem where everybody get to. They get delivered. They pray for the deliverance, but they just can't wrap out them and wrap their mind around dealing with themselves and becoming free from whatever it is that had them in bondage. You know, be it a mood altering chemical, be it a relationship. You think you just can't live without this. Or them. Can I get an amen? amen. Or survive in a new geographical location. Can I get an amen? amen. Start up and rise. Start up and rise. Start up and rise. So it's a lot of people that have been delivered. You know, right now you in the area. You are delivered. But God is now desiring to liberate you. Can I get an amen? amen? God, that she go. Amen. <laughs> she go. I talked her up, boy. Amen. 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 But you can be delivered. Amen. But that don't mean you free. Yeah, it's time to think now. Thank God is now. He's, he's liberating you. That's, that's, he's liberating you. He's, he needs you to assist him because the, the deliverance comes in your mind. The, the freedom comes in your mind. The way of you, the, 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 your new way of thinking. Can I get amen? amen. Got to make a decision to be free. Yes. Got to get to a situation and use everything that God has prepared you with prior to. And when you get to that situation, the Spirit of God will remind you of what you need to do. And your choice then is to be free. Everybody don't want to be free. Can I get an amen? amen? Everybody in don't want to be free. That's right. And then some people want to be free for some things and not everything. Can I get an amen? amen? But the freedom comes on us. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 That's what I'm saying? No, stand fast. Stand your ground. Stay your okay. post. Stay the course. Amen. 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 Stand on your decision and hold hold on to your decision. Amen. Don't wait, but don't be too and fro. My daddy always told me if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Amen. Right. amen. So if we made a commitment to God that it's for God I live and for our God I die, Stand on it. I don't care who come around, who That's come right. in your life. Do not let me persuade you or don't be persuaded by your own lust and desires. Amen. Amen. For such a time as this. Because people are, trust me, our whole goal of being here, Jesus' whole goal of us still being here is to draw others. Amen. Amen. And if we can't stand fast and stay and be unmovable on our post, on our confession, mm -hmm. that we're saved. Amen. Amen. And that we are Christians, that we are soldiers. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about church goers as Christians. I'm talking about Christ's life. Amen. Amen. We got to stand fast and be consistent on that. Amen. Amen. And have a made up mind. Yes. The main thing, you want to have a made-up mind. Amen? Amen? You know women, when you was cutting your baby daddy off, that was it. You was done. Yes. That's the same mentality. I don't care. You couldn't pour a milk. Joke back on me. You understand what I'm saying? That's the same mentality that I have. And me and my baby daddy don't even much be. We good, but I had a made-up mind. I was done. Amen? So when you done, be done. Yeah. Amen. 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 Stop playing 
with it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Start over right. Five and one, five and one, five. But when they done, they done, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to get it together. Hey, go. Pastor, I can't do that, go. <laughs> you better talk to him. She gone. I can't. She ain't listening to me. I was there trying to help you. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Five and one. Right, right, woman of God. Therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Made you free. Yes. He didn't set you. He made you free. That's right. Can I get an amen? amen. Start over and right. One more time. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Mm -hmm. And do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. And do not. Listen, not. this is what we're dealing with now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dealing with discerning cycles. you got to be able to discern the cycles of your life. Yes. Cycle is when you get stuck in a season. Mm -hmm. God has delivered you. He can put new people. Put you in a new geographical location. He's doing a new thing in your life. Mm -hmm. Everything is moving on. But you get stuck in the cycle. That's on you. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? amen? You got to be able to discern. Wow. You getting stuck. You got to be able to discern the cycles that's going on in your life. Amen. Be not entangled again. Amen. Be not. That means you make a decision not to allow yourself to get entangled again amen. with the yoke of what? Your bondage. Right. Can I get an amen? amen? You gotta be able to see, because see, I've been dealing with probably about six, seven of, 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 of members here, probably about four other friends that I mean the devil come around like funk fest every year. Amen. Annually. Amen. Yes, Lord. Every year at the same time, since you don't never make it to me. You know what, Pastor? You right. Every year I'm watching this yes. like clockwork. I got Amen. singles that only got three good months of settlements in. Like God can't keep you for four months. Amen. Can't keep you for three years. Amen. Can I get an amen? I know nobody want to be kept that long. Amen. But he is a keeper if you want to be kept. If you got relationship issues, you don't have to be sleep around. Because my Bible say no fornicator, no liar yeah. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven now. We talking about making it to heaven, right? So listen, what I'm saying is you got to be able to discern the cycles, the enemy planning to just randomly come and just sift your life, drain your life, bleed your potential because of things that you bound by as though God's not able to deliver you. Can I get amen? Listen, listen, my husband always say what? Read life. Yeah, like, yeah. Read life. It's yeah. very simple, y'all. We of age now. Amen. Yeah, we, we, we're not ignorant to Satan devices. Yeah. We of age in the natural and we should be spiritually. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we got to learn how to read people, places, and things. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So if my husband said every year the freak meet come around, yeah. and around that time when you fall off, amen, yeah. we got yeah. to start, number one, recognizing who are associated with the freak meat. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, we need to recognize yeah. the people that come along with that's the freak meat. Good. Amen. 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 And then we got to recognize, well, what does this thing go down at? Amen. Amen. Does it go down in my DM? Amen. Amen. Real talk. We got to recognize what this thing go down at. And then we got to see what is it, what thing causes me to go astray. Well, I can be so easily persuaded. Amen. Amen. Have I failed off from fasting? Amen. Have I, my prayer life changed? Amen. We got to recognize this and we got to read life what caused us to fall into these cycles. Amen. That's good. That's what I'm going to do with people, places, and things. You know, it can be associated with a person. It can be associated with television shows that you watch. Can I get an amen? You got to follow with drugs and all you looking at is snowfall and knock, knock on and, and the cocaine cowboys and can I get an amen? amen? Yeah, you're going to be struggling around here. Yeah. I mean, you just you got a problem with perversion. All you looking at is booty calling. I'm just being, you got to know the Spirit of God will begin to give you a conviction. The conviction comes before the sin. That's why, hey, don't do that. Hey, tighten up. Hey, back up a little bit. Hey, ease up. Hey, pull away. Yeah. That's that warning that we always ignore. That's good. I keep telling y'all because well, he speaks with a small, still small voice. Yeah. And he's not going to scream over the culture. He's not going to scream over your agenda. He's not going to beat you down. No, he's just going to say, hey, hey, hey. He's not finna, he not finna shake you and hit you all on the show. We're in a good place, to our okay. Well, we still clean up so the girl gone, but we bought. I love my wife right now. 
But he's not going to scream over society. No, he's not. He's going to warn you. Yes, and according to your yes, sense, see that's when you gotta be sensitive. Yes. Sensitivity. Yes. Sensitive to the moving of God. Sensitive to the things of God. Yes. Her God clear as clear as yes. day to day. Yes. Say, give me this whole day. I ain't cut the TV on none. I got worship. Worship going on in the house right now. I left YouTube yes. on, my, on my bar. I'm gonna hear my speakers all throughout the house. I heard them clear as day this morning. And I had a me and God had a good time. Yes. Yes. Give me this whole day. I mean, give me this whole man. Me and God just chill. She was gone. The girl was gone. Me and God, I came up here, met that accountant. You know, me and him had a good time. We just, I had a good time with God. I was wondering why you didn't sweat me then. <laughs> listen, you got to be able to discern again. Because like she said, a lot of times come from your association with people. Your association with people. And the Spirit of God, see this, uh, what it is, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, one says to uh, lay aside every weight. And every sin, see, everything is not sin. Weights. Yeah. When the Bible speaker, he said, lay aside every weight. It's things that are unproductive. Grace relationships that are good. unproductive. Yeah. You'll get to a place where the Holy Ghost starts saying, hey, 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 this relationship ain't taking you nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pull away. No, yeah. oh, I'm going to elevate you. If they come, they come. They don't, they don't. But yeah. break it up now. Ain't going to be no everyday talk, every blue moon now. Yeah. But when you talk, you're going to have some substance. Yeah. 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 Amen. Because this conversation, they draining your cup. Yeah. 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 Amen. Your cup yeah. running over, but you get off the phone, you train. Yeah. Now you gotta go get that three more hours of prayer because of work. Come on. Yeah. You gotta start reading life. Yeah. This stuff gets you stuck in cycles, conversation. Yeah. All they do is gossip. Now they dropping straight yeah. discord. Yeah. Now you got an issue with somebody God ordained you to come on, man. Yeah. He ordained y'all to grow together, but this relationship's so negative. Yeah. She done fed you some poison because you haven't elevated yet to discern. The negativity in her, Amen. now you negative and you done avoid this whole, now you mess yeah. derailing everything with God. Y'all yeah, right. can't never get together and do what God called y'all to do. Yeah. Because of a weight. That's right. So I told y'all, wait, man, this is, I, I get that from the streets, man. This I tell Joker quick, man, you get to heaven. Trying to smoke up all my cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you about four bucks now. <laughs> you still follow, huh, man? <laughs> messing my life up. I can't help you mess yours up, cuz. You get in heaven. That's, that's, I'm just saying, you get in heaven. You gotta be able to discern those heavy relationships. Heavy. All they do is, all they wanna do is complain. They have the same, you done invited them to church. You done gave them all these solutions, but they wanna keep coming with problems. You gotta take and not put them in the hands of the Lord. Because that has become a God weight. You're not supposed to lift that. You're supposed to love them now through prayer and from afar. But you don't let them sit there and drain and bleed you. Can I get an amen? Steal your joy. Steal your peace. That ain't the will of God talking about an assignment. That ain't no assignment. That's a weight. And those weights take you into a cycle. Get you fall down. Now you stuck. You ain't moving forward no more. Can I get an amen? Amen. Good. No, that's real good. Right? Hey, listen. Let me tell y'all because I know we love God for real. Yeah. And sometimes we think everybody's our son. Everybody's not our son. And it's okay. Yeah. Just like I know everybody ain't for us, and I ain't for everybody. Amen. I love everybody, but some people just don't buy with me, and I'm good with it. I like it. I'm good with that. But I said that to say this. I used to feel bad because we'll have a zeal and a love for God so much Amen. where we think we're supposed to be everybody at Simon. We're supposed to yeah. lead everybody. We got to read life. We got yeah. to ice God to sharpen out the sermon. Yeah. Show us the intent to what is Amen. this relationship is about. Amen. Yeah. Because Amen. it's some people that God does have us to reach. Like my yeah. husband yeah. said, when I ran the streets, I ran the streets hard in Sherwood. Yeah. Some people God saw me back for yeah. in Sherwood. Yeah. Yeah. It was some people God put a dot on their head and said caution. Amen. Don't go. Amen. 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 Cause some people we can't want it better than they do. Amen. When we want it better than they do, like my husband said, that become a weight. Amen. Amen. And that's a God way. And you give it to God and you leave it. Amen. 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 But you got to be able to discern this thing because some people get you in a cycle, like you said, they get so heavy. You think you super Amen. Christian, this thing start weighing you out. Amen. Amen. And sometimes, to be told, if your prayer life ain't right, Amen. if you ain't going up real good, they demons might be a little stronger than what you're working 
Nine times out of ten, that's the case when yes, there's your prayer life in intact. Yes, right. The Spirit of God telling you, hey, put them in my hands. Yes, Don't right. deal with that. So if, you, if, you, if you always been a fixer and like to help people, yeah, the enemy will yeah. use that against you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, man. The devil will use that as a tool, too. But have you thinking you're doing God's service? Yeah. The whole while, he's drawing you. He's pulling you further away. Can I get an amen? But that's the purpose of the community. Amen? amen. But we're dealing with, you got to be able to discern. you got to be able to discern the cycles. Amen? amen. The reason cycles Cycles are so comfortable because it's familiar. Yes. We fall into them. It's familiar. We at, we at the time that the cycle comes, it's prone to us to just go ahead and do it. Yeah. What's unusual is to buck it. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? See, we're not used to confronting anything. Yeah. The, 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 can I get an amen? The cycle, whatever it is, whatever it is. The person when they come around. Yeah. The situation when it come around, yeah. the job when it come around, yeah. whatever it is, the, the 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 investment, whatever it is yeah. that gets you stuck in a rut, you're you're prone to just yeah. yield into it. Yes. Yeah. It's Man. it's un, it's it's alien. It's unusual for you to buck and resist it. Can I get an amen? amen? And whatever you don't confront, you'll never be able to conquer it. Amen. See, this is what God wants us to be. Now we got to start opposing it. We're getting older, and the day's getting shorter. And God but ain't got time for this, y'all. Can I get an amen? amen? Come on, the devil's sifting you as wheat. One thing God can't hate, man, is time wasted. It took him a long time to get us to this point. Yes, and now we get, come on, man, a, search of, a circumstance or a situation amen. that we amen. take, man, and break focus and put all our attention on it. Now God is oh not God, God because of this. Amen. So he don't have the ability to deliver amen. because of this. Amen. So he could save and set you free from everything but, but, but from this, yeah. this cycle. Right and it's all because you just took, you put more value on the situation than you're doing on what God said. Can I get amen? amen. You put more value on the situation, on getting stuck, yes. on getting distracted. Yes. Distraction again is whenever you put more value on something else than what you was focused amen. on. Amen. You pay more attention to it. Right yeah. now. Can I get amen? amen. We're talking about discernment. Amen. Discernment. Discernment is what the Spirit of God gives you insight. Amen. Check this out. Don't do that. Hey, this is about to happen. Y'all know what I always say. In times of peace, prepare for war. In times of peace. Now, I'm not saying don't enjoy and bask in the moment of a victory. No, you do that. But you have your feet down and understand that you're fighting your adversary, the devil, and he's walking around as a royal lion. Can I get an amen? Seeking whom he may devour. You know you're not ignorant to his devices. All these words that you've been getting, it's time for this. So, hey, hey, praise God. God, I thank you for this. Thank you for this blessing. Thank you for this, this new house. But trust me, in about three weeks, the enemy going to try to stir you and your husband up to get in the fight. He's, he's lurking. He is lurking. But you have authority over him. We don't fear him. We fear God. But we respect him because he's the word of the adversary. We need to be able to recognize him. And when he comes, we need to be able to resist him. Can I get an amen? We're talking about you got to have the ability to discern your cycles. Everybody. The devil got customized situations that he want to get you entangled. Entangled. Like a whale. Like you all know when I do that now, your arm gets stuck. Soon you get it free. Your butt's stuck in your man. Stuck. No, seriously. I ain't got no room to let it get on that. That wasn't an insult, baby. I love it. Jesus. Hey, Turn with me to first Peter, y'all. The 16 through the 17 verse, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three more days, boy. <laughs> you might get a little stew out of here. <laughs> you got some? Yeah. I sprung it on you, first Peter. Um, uh, uh, 16 through 17. Oh man. First Peter. Uh -huh, 16 and 17. Okay, watch out. Um, first Peter 1, baby. Okay. 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. For we did not come cunningly devise fables. For we did not follow cunningly devised fables when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he, mm -hmm. that's first Peter. Oh, no, no, no. If you call that's okay, but read him. First Peter seventeen. Sixteen seventeen. <coughs> I got it. Okay. Go ahead, Jim. Because it is written, 
Be holy for I am holy. Because it is written, be holy because I am holy. Amen. Amen. A lot of times as Christians, we find ourselves in the same ruts, in the same cycle because we like to play with the things of the world. Yeah. Amen. 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 Holy, is sim ho holy is not so much wearing a skirt to your um, ankles, on, amen, or the thing amen. around your head, but holy is being having the nature of God, amen. being separated, amen. amen. We want to have the nature of God. God um, shuns the very presence of evil, yes, amen. 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 So we like the, the small foxes destroy the vine, amen. amen. So we like to play with a little bit of porn, amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. We like to play with a little bit of line here, gospel, bite, bite, and amen. Yeah. We like amen. to return to those old ways, return to our vomit. We don't do it all when we think because we still come to church and we're just doing it here and there. But the thing about it is when we play with those things and the things of God, we put ourselves back into bondage, yeah. back yeah. into the cycle yeah. when we play with the things of the world. Because, see, we was free from, the, from bondage, Satan, which was the ruler of this world. Yeah. But when we play with the things of the world, we allow ourselves to go back into bondage and cycles. Amen. Yeah. And feel defeated as a Christian. Amen. Yeah. It's no point as a Christian that we should be feeling like we defeated or the mundane, shall I say. Amen. Amen. When we feel the mundane like it's ain't no glory and no victory in being a Christian. Amen. That's because we don't got some kind of way to strike it with the chaos of the world. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And 17 says what, sis? And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges According to each one's work, conduct your conduct yourself throughout the time of your stay here in fear. Okay, so it says, since you call on the Father who judge each person work impartially, live out your time as foreign as here. Amen. Amen. We just passing through. Amen. Problem is, we get all us get we get caught up with like this is our home. This is not our home. We just passing through. We start doing. Hey, when they say when you're in Rome, do what the Romans do, we start doing what the world do. Amen. Amen. We want to um, we want to cheat on our spouses. We want to tip. My girls used to call it. We want to deep and down, tip in and out. Amen. We want to play with sin, Amen. and that right there will send you straight in a cycle. Amen. It'll send you in a cycle of depression. Amen. It'll send you in a cycle where you feel like you could never get this thing right. Amen. The enemy will play with you because you found the stuff that you want to do. Like Paul, every time I want to do good, evil is present. That's because you playing with this thing, and it will go on to say in that verse. That every time we do that, we bought with a price, y'all. Our life is not our own. We bought with the blood of Jesus. We were set free through the blood of Jesus. And every time we return to our own vomit and our old ways, we crucify God of flesh. We crucify God of flesh, y'all. We can't play with this thing. You can't play with people. I'm not saying that you can't go around people and you can't be in the world, but we in the world, but we're not of the world. Amen. You know what God Amen. dealing with you about. Amen. Amen. Everybody ain't gonna know what God talking yeah. to you about. Amen. You know, God sitting on you right now, making sure you're getting what you need to hear, each and every one of us. And Amen. you know what God people, person, place, and thing that God is speaking of right now. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? You know, it might not be with them now, you might not be in it, but you know, when it come around, they might you might know what's about to happen. You know, somebody might be about to come in town or whatever it is. Amen. You know, God, this is preparation. And God's preparation amen. is always for our protection. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? But we as humans were created to go forward, y'all. Right. Think about a man in sin, we kept, we, we moved, we started, we started, jumped off the porch. Started drinking. We started drinking Boom Fun and Mad Dog 2020. And started smoking weed and got on that coke. And can we advance? We can we used to going forward. That's why we get over here with God and we get in a cycle. We want to go back because that cycle of stagnation. We ain't, ain't nothing happening. You got to see yourself growing and developing. Can I get an amen? And that's the purpose of God. You know, a cycle again. Stuck. Think about the children of Israel. They got in a cycle. They were stuck. Walking around in that wilderness for all those years. That was never his will. It's never his will for you to be disturbed. That's a decision that you choose to make. You want to stay here in your mind. You don't want to trust God to show you how to live a different life. It's a decision. 
Amen. You, you're scared. It's a poverty mentality. Amen. You think you're going to always be assisted by the government. I'm not down in that, but I trust me, God will take you yes. off that. Yes. God Amen. will take you to another place. I ain't down there at all. A lot of people need it. I, I had to get stamps before. Can I get an amen? But I don't mess with them no more. I don't buy them. I don't play with them no more. Because I don't need them. Can I get an amen? That's just my conviction. You know, you might buy them. That's you. I just don't no more. I did before though. I did. Until I got convicted. So that's my conviction. I'm not putting that on nobody. Can I get an amen? amen? Can I get an amen? amen. So don't call me Sam Files if you want to buy some stamps. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. I don't buy them no more. I used to. Amen. amen. <laughs> I'm talking about cycles. I'm talking about cycles. This is real. This is dealing with your life. It took you a long time for you to get here. This is your conscious life that you live in. You prayed for this and now you here. You're not supposed to get in no patch and get stuck. So if you do, it's going to be a decision that you make. That's why you say stand fast in the liberty, firm. Make a decision to want to be free. And listen, freedom is you. you you're going to gain it. I always say what you know, don't relinquish your stand. In other words, a lot of people, when they get in a the rut, they stop tithing. Always stay tithing. Do what you know to do. Don't throw everything in, though. No. Do what you know to do and gain from them. You're just at a patch now that you got to connect with God and get up out of it. Don't throw in all the chips. Fall forward. Don't let the enemy take you. No, God factored this in. He knew you were going to be doing this or making this decision. And he knew I was going to come to you and talk to you like this. So put more influence and more focus. Can I get an amen? That's why I say, man, we got to learn how to deal with Deal with the negative, but focus on the positive. Amen. Amen. Even in marriages, Amen. in marriages, Amen. you can you, you can be you got to know how to you got a negative situation Amen. that you got to deal with in this marriage. But I'm gonna focus on how good she is. Amen. I'm focusing on all the good, but I got to deal with this negative. I can't afford it. But I'm not gonna focus on the negative and forget all the good. No, that's a trick of the enemy. That's good. That's a trick. A lot of marriage, a lot of relationships are just going better if we start, okay, this negative, but I'm not going to profile my wife because of a negative situation. No. No, there's so much good in her. Can I get an amen? Not a whole relationship ruining and going down. No. Can I get an amen? That's how you don't get stuck in the cycle of your marriage. That's good. Because there's going to constantly be negative stuff that needs to be worked on. And a lot of times, man, you don't have to deal with it right then and there. Can I get an amen? You wait for a season. Right. And when you come back around and then you, unless you got somebody gonna be like, why you ain't tell me then? I ain't tell you then because you couldn't handle it, Joker. Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you now. Hey, hey. Now you're smiling. Now hell. Hey, hey. I got you where I want you. Hey, hey. I just bought you a four hundred dollar purse. You finna hear me? You finna deal with all these problems, right? So you gotta get, you gotta get a pivot point. Hey, hey. I'm trying to tell you. Everything ain't meant to be dealt with right when it happened. You gotta use wisdom. Spirit of God give you wisdom. Because the point is for the, the, the objective is for them to get it. Not for you to just put your word. No, it's for them to get it. For the point to get across. How beautiful are the feet of those that bring a word of good you do see. Beautiful feet. Man, I can't back out. Beautiful feet. I'm saying. Do season. You got a world you struggling, but God brought you a word out of nowhere. You pray for it. Come on, man. Think how much you love, man. Boy, I love you. Why needed that boy? But God used you, you just not why. Since God just used you. That's all we need to have because our, our community. You gotta take advantage. This will help us to discern cycles if we take advantage of the community. Yeah. God set us. The Bible says He has set the lonely and families. Yeah. We are in a community. Yes, and you are only gonna be as strong as you are tapped into your community. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that's connected, yeah. living healthy, and being fully developed. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody that's not is struggling. That's good. I'm telling you the truth. That's right. Everybody that's connected. Yeah. Outside of me and my got everybody got their own love. They're connecting. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ain't gonna jail together, but you ain't gonna be personality yeah. gonna collide in there. Yeah. But you gotta be spiritual enough to know how to overcome all that and yeah. learn how to live. And yeah. You got family members you just ain't gonna get along with. Okay, yeah. cool. But you don't go around talking to everybody about that. You just you see what time it is. Okay, bam. I'm gonna just avoid cubs. Yeah. I'm gonna hit them with open no. nod. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause you already know y'all ain't gonna. 
Probably later on when y'all get some development, y'all be able to holler a little bit. But right now, just a boy, you know what I'm saying? That's straight nod. Go to the street. Amen. 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 Cause teeth and tongue fall out sometimes. Yeah. 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 Well, we got to love. We got to love one another. Amen. 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 For such a time as this, remember that too, y'all. Because yes. right now, in the last days, hot men are hot. Yes, it's gonna it wipe cold. Amen. Yeah. Family yeah. gonna be against family. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still family, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We must yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. How yeah. can we say we That's love good. Christ who we never see, but we don't love our very own brother? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God has no understanding, y'all. Hear me. Yo, God really put this on my God is y'all. There's gonna be so many people that's gonna be deceived on judgment day. Thinking they're gonna be able to stand before God like he understands all this mess. God gonna look at how he went through the extremes to reach you. He's gonna go through the extremes to show you. He's gonna he's gonna show you the extremes that he worked, that he reached you while he was here yeah. on Judgment Day. Yeah. He's gonna show you how he put a preacher that broke it all the way down, yeah. who yeah. it, yeah. Yes. demonically, yeah. Yeah. eloquently, all the way around. And he's gonna show you when you got it, understood it, and held on to it. But when the time was to apply, you chose not to. Come he's on. gonna show you that. Come on, Come on now. you're taking a great gamble now with your soul. Yeah. Yeah. He's preparing you for everything that you're going to face. All that thinking, listen, he said no liar. Not just if you tell a lie, but if you was a liar. You ain't going to tarry in this presence. Fornicator. Not if you slip here and there. You just a professional. Habitual. You got bodies. Yeah, yeah. You play them. Fresh bodies. 30 years later, you got bodies. Yeah. Victims. Yeah. Men and women, you just destroying their lives. Right. You playing with God. I don't have no understanding. Talking about you couldn't hold yourself. Jesus. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Bible says unto him that is able. Yes, he has the ability to keep you if you want to be yeah. killed. Yes, you know how much crack cocaine had me, man? I wanted to be delivered. Yes, I fought for years to be delivered. God came and delivered me. Yes, sir. And when he delivered me, I ain't gonna buy no more dope. Can I get an amen? I wanna be kept. God has a God is here to deliver. Man, listen, man. God's serious about your life, but God's serious about the people that you're supposed to reach. Amen. Now you around here playing games. God and look at you never say, God ain't on all that now. You selfish. You selfish for a, a temporary pleasure Come on now. to satisfy your craving for the moment. Amen. When you're supposed to trust God and God has something to reveal to you on the other side of the temptation. Amen. To be tempted means to temper, test for the strength of something. Come on. The enemy tempted you to take you, but God trying to show you something in you. Amen. But when you get in certain situations, you never let God prove to you Amen. that he's in you Amen. to oppose this situation. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Here it is. You keep falling, thinking God understands. Okay? Play with it. Play with it. This is not our home. This earth is passing away. And you keep falling for the same old trick. You, you just want to do that. But if you're playing with God, see, this is a season that God has ordained. God has a chain of events lined up. He got people that's very important to him. And he needs you to be on point to reach. You so caught up in a cycle because you don't want to be delivered. Amen. It's real. It might be tight, but it's cotton picking right. Nobody making you do that. She ain't put no glock to your head to go knock her down. They ain't put no pills to your head to go buy a CBD when you know you're you trying to get high. Get the oil. Amen. Well, you got a weed card now and all that there for your pain. Get the oil. You want to be high. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not messing with it because but they does have medicinal purposes. But you know your motive, God knows. Yeah. He know your thoughts are far off. Yeah. Yeah. People, the, the people that you are called to do not deserve to go to hell. Hey. Come on, I know they was like, God, man, why you I, why you, you gotta be him? <laughs> Think about your Israel Moses when they got right. Yeah. 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 
Bible says he raised the God, raised up a deliverer. He always gonna raise up a deliverer. Come on, man. He ain't coming off the throne no more. Yeah. You are a deliverer. That's right. Yeah. Amen. That's Amen. good. Amen. Your life has significance. Amen. All that looking at your life like woe is God ain't on all that. Amen. Come on now. He opened your eyes. Yes. Yes. You are called to be a deliverer. Yes. He, your life has significance. Yes. He's gonna put his power on your life. If you come after him, he's gonna use you for his glory. Yes. He's gonna use you to open the blind eyes. Yes. Set the captive free. Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, that's the whole plan. Yeah. That's the whole plan. We are a part of the least likely. Amen. Amen. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Amen. Amen. We are redeemed by the blood of God. Amen. Amen. Never get it twisted. And, and like my husband said, it's with a plan. It's with a purpose. Amen. Amen. And it's supposed to be reciprocated. Amen. Amen. Each one reach one. Yes, Each yes, one man. reach one. What happened is we play with this thing too long and the gray line ain't gray no more. That's right. Amen. We done played with it so long where the gray line ain't gray no more. That's why it's vital not to lose your momentum. Yes, Come on. That's good. Good. Don't Amen. lose what you know about God. Come on. Amen. Don't lose what you know about your walk with God. Come on, man. Amen. church on Sunday and Wednesday. Yeah. This is not the time to be falling off. Yeah. See, it said in the last days that the enemy is going to deceive the most intellect. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So this is not the time to miss service. Yeah. If you don't know yeah. nothing else, you know I need to get in the house of the Lord. Be there. Yeah. Don't fall off, yeah. sis. Yeah. Don't fall off, bro. Yeah. The enemy is walking yeah. around trying to seek who he could devour yeah. and even now. Yeah. And the only thing the most important thing is praying that our faith don't fail. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And how do our faith fail? We got to be amongst the people. Amen. Amen. It was good to me when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It ain't okay. If you got blood running around in your vein and the limbs of your body working, Amen. get to the house of the Lord. Amen. Get to the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank God for Facebook. Amen. Thank God for the reporters. Amen. And if you're doing anything, off. Yeah. The same way you got on, that's the same way you got to ride. Stay the course. Be ye steadfast. I'm moving. Always abounding in his work. The way you get on is the way you ride. The way you get on is the way you ride. And this is the man. Hear me, y'all, discernment. These jobs, high in the world, God done brought you from out the pit. Now you finna call. God put it. God is never going to this. The blessing of the Lord it will make you rich, and yes. He He will add yes. no sorrow. Yes. Yes. Anybody don't ever quote that right? You said the blessing of the Lord make you rich, and it adds no. No, the blessing of the Lord it will make you rich, and He yes. He will add no sorrow. Yes. He is never going to bless you with anything that's going to take you out of His will. He's never going to bless you with anything that's going to write him out of your script of his life. Now, if you get a job they change schedule, I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. If you you, you need a job and you you at a place in God, you, you got to do what you got to do, I, I, I get it. But you're going to believe God to get up out of it. But if you come to me, come on, man. I'm just talking about you shit. You know. You know you, you know you weren't supposed to get that done. Amen. That's right. That's right. You know you weren't supposed to get that done. Now you should. And now you 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 got so much pride you don't want to break ranks and let the folk around you know you need to leave it. Now you trying to make it work. Amen. You're gonna lose your cotton picking soul. Amen. So gonna take you farther than you wanna go. Yes. Keep you lower than you wanna stay. Can I get amen? amen. And he's gonna do it real, real fast. Amen. Cause he's gonna have you do so much stuff in yeah. that time that we're gonna feel so unworthy. Amen. Can I get amen? God is never, you gotta be able to discern, read life. Yes. Don't get so caught up in. That's why you need to have your man shoot stuff past your circle. If you doing this thing right all the way up, you should be balancing life with the people around you. Amen. I'm the pastor, and I still, man, I got, so I got, I got three folk around me. I share everything with. Because everybody got a relationship with the same God I got. Amen. And everybody, come on, man, just to make sure I'm on point. I'm accountable. How you ain't? Right. Don't even want to use the tools God got set for you, but you better hear me. Your life does not belong to you. 
Amen. God Amen. set all this up and brought you and put you in it. All you yeah. got to do is just yield Amen. and watch Amen. God move. Amen. And you tell me you're going to mess this up. Amen. Him Amen. and I. Amen. Let's not think now. God done. God brought you here. Amen. See, I keep telling you, transition has nothing to do with you. Transition has nothing to do Transition, well, he, it has it because you pray for it. But nine times transition is when God taking and put you and Amen. guide you Amen. and Amen. bump you in the providential. Amen. Amen. Now that he's done the transition, trans, uh, uh, the transition transformation Amen. is on you. Amen. 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 This is where come, you come in now. The transforming part. Amen. So I say by the renewing of your mind. Be you transformed Amen. by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Your mind's being renewed because he's giving you the word. Amen. Amen. That's right. But see, the word, having the word only and not doing it, you got to do it. You got to apply. Amen. That's the part. You ain't applying the word. Amen. You giving over the sin. No, the word is for you not to do it. Amen. He'll remind you what he said. And when he remind you, you'll quote the scripture. But you got to make a decision to Amen. tell life no. Amen. You got to. It's going to be painful, yeah. but you're going to get stronger. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Can I get amen? amen. You got to start bucking the devil. Yes, amen. Stop amen. bucking God amen. to get out these cycles. Amen. Come on, man. I don't know why you don't been in the way 10, 12 years, man. You want to know uh, Robert chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. <laughs> it ain't even applying that. Amen. Can I get amen? amen? I ain't trying to. I'm just being real. It's real. Hey, Amen. all these messages tied in together. Yes. But when I boil down to it, your soul is on the line. Amen. People's souls on the line. Amen. That's where you're taking God off. Because yes. the Bible says, look, and their blood going to be on your hands. Wow. Their blood going to be on your hands. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Listen, there's only one way to go in Christ, and that's for us. Right. Amen. 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 Me and my grandma always say each round go higher and higher right. in Christ Jesus. Amen. If we got a washing machine and the cycle ain't going nowhere, it's stuck. Yeah. Guess what? It's a dysfunctional washing machine. Amen. 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 That's why we have so many dysfunctional Christians because we ain't going nowhere. We stagnated. We stuck in cycles. And why are we stuck in cycles? Because we're not keeping that 100 with God. Amen. This Amen. is bigger than church. Yes, it, yes, is. it is. Yes, yes it is. is. This yes, is bigger than religion. Yes, yes it is. is. Amen. Bigger than real life. Bigger yeah. than Pastor Washington. Yeah. 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 Understand yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It's personal. Yes, it is. Amen. It's a relationship with God. Yeah. So much a relationship with God. I woke up this morning. I said, God, this is the most. And he was laying by me snoring. I said, this is the most. Your relationship with me is the most important relationship yeah, that I have. Yeah, yeah, See, because yeah, I'm going to be yeah, a functional Christian. Right. I'm going to be stuck in a cycle of depression if yeah. I don't stay the course. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah, By yeah, staying yeah. the course, I mean we got to have a plan yeah, and a regimen yeah, and yeah, stick to it. Amen. Yeah, if I don't start this thing off with prayer, I'm going right. to fall off. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. True. That's Understand, true. that's yeah, why we get stuck in cycles. And then we too, we too religious, and lack of a better word, Phony, mm -hmm. we God. Right. I can't see everything. Yes. That's they right. say, God, I'm yes. getting stuck in another cycle. Amen. Amen. I'm getting stuck. Amen. I feel my own ways coming on. Help Amen. me, God. Because like Jude 2020 says, we serve a God that can keep us from falling. Amen. Amen. And we serve a true living God. We got to be real with him. Yes. Hey, I'm, I'm starting by being nasty to my wife. She getting on my nerve. God, help me. Yes. Amen. 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 God, I, I ain't fasting about four months. So now everything, I'm clicking. Everything making me stop. Amen. 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 We got to learn to keep this thing real with yeah. God. Amen. Bump man. Amen. That's right. Amen. Bump man. Yeah, right. Man ain't got no heaven or hell to put us in. Amen. 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 But we got to keep this thing real with God Amen. to alleviate finding ourselves being a dysfunctional Christian. Amen. 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 Dysfunctional Christian. Amen. Amen. God sitting there waiting on you to ask him to come help you. God, Amen. come get me. Amen. Come get me, God. Yes. Come get me, God. Amen. I'm falling. Amen. Yes. You know, God, I'm, I'm falling. Yes. Because you fell don't mean it's over. The righteous man falls seven times. Amen. How he get back up? Because you talk to God while he done messed up. Amen. God, Amen. I messed up. I know you don't forgive yes. me, God. Uh, one yes. thing is, I ain't finna leave you. I ain't finna go to hell. Amen. We finna work this Amen. thing out, Lord. He's gonna let nobody else see what's going on. But God, we finna work it out. But whatever you gotta do, but keep falling forward, amen, amen. until the amen. falling stops. Can I get amen? Amen. There's gonna be some seasons that you're gonna get in where the enemy's gonna try and get you stuck in a cycle. Right. You don't supposed to be that way. Can I get amen? Come on, y'all stand to our feet. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we love.